Hey, good afternoon, Tommy. This is Wayne with Blue Digital here in Jacksonville. Hey, I spoke with one of your guys this morning. I believe it was Ron. And I was letting him know that we are working with some local companies here in Jax during this COVID-19, trying to do our part and just give a little bit of uh, information that may help some of the local businesses to up their customer base. And we're doing that via the, the website and Google uh, search search engine optimization. That's what we do. Uh, we're a local search engine optimization company and lead generation company. So I wanted to give you three tips that you could act on, whether you used all three or just one or two of them, uh, that would actually help your web throughput. Uh, as you are aware, I'm sure that uh, the Internet is one of the most efficient and easiest ways to acquire new customers. And uh, so I wanted to just throw a few tips out there to to you and let you know what you could do. So. First of all, I'm going to compare you to one of your competitors just so that you can see you know, why is your competitor on page one of Google and you are not. Uh, once we, we take a look at that, then we can see what they're doing and what maybe you can do to get yourself up there on that page one. I'm sure your next question is going to be, who am I going to compare you to? And that's a good question, so let me show you how I picked who I did. So if we go to Google, just as anybody else would, and anybody that wants kitchen and bath remodeling, they're going to type in something of the of the sort, kitchen and bath remodel, Jacksonville FL. And here we are on page one of Google. You can see the map area in this map pack area, which I'm going to discuss in just a moment. We'll come back to that. We're still on page one of Google, and we can come down here in what we call the organic listing area. This is where everybody is one, two, three, and four on page one. Angie's list... Obviously, that's advertisement, home advisor advertisement. Here we go, slot number three. Here's a local kitchen and bath remodeling company here in Jacksonville. So since they're on page one and they're near the top of the organic area, I would say that's a, a pretty direct competitor, seeing how they're on page one, and that's where you want to be. So let's go ahead and just click on that, which I've done. And as you can see, this is who that is right here. So I'm going to compare your stats, your website metrics if you will and talk about these three tips comparing you to this other company that is on page one so first off we're going to talk about content well let me back up the three things we're going to talk about are content backlinks and citations content is nothing more than what it just sounds like if I go to your website right here and I can read all of this here this is all content Google and it's crawlers, and I say crawlers because they're the bots are crawling around 24/7, trying to identify who is worthy of being on page one. Google wants to see between a thousand and fifteen hundred words on your home page, and it looks like you've got a good bit here. I mean, 500, 750, so you've got a great start on it. So as far as the um, number of words on your home page, you're well on your way. Let's take a look at your competitor here, and I see a little bit of content not much I see more pictures than I do content there's a little bit right in here again more pictures so see you've already got your competitor beat out in the content category however there's obviously a lot more to it to get ranked on page one and we will find out what those are because there are clues left behind that you could utilize so back to content uh, 1000 to 1500 words of content on your home page and then there's going to be keywords or key phrases that you want to make sure are within your content so that those Google bots can find you. So let's talk about that for a minute. So first of all, content. 1,500 words is what Google wants to see. You're on your way there. A little bit more content is always going to help. So we use this other tool here to see what your metrics are. And you can see right here, this is your company here, and these stats, if you will, we're going to talk about just a few of them. First of all, this DR number. This is a, a scoring system that Google uses. It's 0 to 100. The higher the number, the more powerful your website. And as you can see, you're sitting at a 1.4. Let's go look at your competitor. And your competitor, and my internet is slowing down. There it is. Your competitor is a little bit higher. They're at a 10. They're, they're ranking a little bit more power than you, which obviously stands the reason they're on page one so we're looking at that dr number the second thing we want to talk about outside of content is backlinks as you can see right here backlinks 
this backlinks and these referring domains, they go together. Backlinks are, are kind of like votes that Google awards different websites. If, if you have more backlinks and they're on the proper sites, it creates power for your website, which pushes you to that page one. So you're, you're running one backlink. So let's take a look at your competitor. We go back, look at the number of backlinks that they have. Now it might look like a whole pile of them, but it's really not that big a deal. 41 of their 563, only 41 of them are actually on referring websites, which is the ones that count. These other ones don't count. You've got to have, they're not created equal. You've got to have your, your backlinks put on the proper websites. So what are the proper websites? We can go in and see, you know, we know he's doing something right because he's on page one. So we can go in and see all of the different websites that this competitor is using to get their backlinks. <clears throat> Again, success leaves clues. You can go in and do the same thing on your website. You can go in and start putting backlinks, which is some of the keywords in your anchor, on those same websites. When you do that, you'll have more backlinks. You'll have more power. So backlinks and then the organic keywords are tied into the backlinks as well. You have 36. Let's take a look at your competitor. And your competitor has almost 200. There again, you can look at the organic keywords that your competitor is using. And you can go the same route. Make sure you're using all the ones that you need to be using. Make sure that you also have them woven into your content on your home page. DR number, backlinks, and your organic keywords. All of these put together help to optimize your website and get you to that page one. So as it stands right now, we've talked about content. We've talked about the importance of having more backlinks and having them in the right locations <clears throat> so that your website becomes a more powerful website. Once it becomes more powerful, it ranks higher and higher and gets up in that page one. The third thing, the third tip I want to talk about are citations. If we go back to Google and we go back to this area of what we call the map pack or Google My Business area, 60 to 70 percent of people that Google something, whether it be re bathroom remodeling or kitchen or what have you, 60 to 70 percent of those folks are going to choose one of these businesses right here. It's just the way it works. The other 40 percent will come scroll down and choose a local business off of this organic section. So that's why it's so important to be in the organic section as well as this Google My Business area. The big thing about Google My Business is the name, address, and phone number. You need to put your name, address, and phone number in multiple directories within Google's arena, if you will. Most of these people are listed in this Google My Business use 30 or 40, maybe 50 citations and directories. There's over 350 different directories out there. So why not use all 300? Get your name, address, and phone number in all 300. When you do that, you're going to be a whole lot more powerful than these sites here. So you, you couple that with the content, with the backlinks. Before you know it, you are on page one and nobody can touch you. Now one caveat to the directories is your name, address, and phone number needs to be listed in the directory that you choose, <clears throat> and it needs to be just as exactly what you've got written here. Now, this isn't yours, obviously, but if you leave out that one comma and you put it into a directory, it's not going to tie the two together, so it'll be a waste, a wasted citation. So just little idiosyncrasies like that that make things work. Uh, there again, they're not that difficult. Uh, you use one of these tips, use all three of these tips. And it's going to make a huge difference in where you start ranking on Google. Uh, we've helped a number of people do this, but this is stuff you can do on your own. Uh, however, if you don't have any experience in it, you'd like some input, feel free to give me a call. I'd be glad to walk you through it over the phone and uh, hopefully get you some more customers coming into your business. Again, my name is Wayne with Blue Digital Solutions. My number is 904-553-5521, 504 Five five three, five five two one. Have a good day.